I hate how like the the, the little handle like bends into my body because I'm scared that the handle is gonna like snap off and like fall off. So so I find that like after I go to the bathroom, I always like like grab my bag like this and I'm just like holding it like this so I'm like not touching it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Hopefully this video will help you out if you are tossing up between whether to buy one of the handbags I own or not and whether it's worth it. And you know, some of these things might annoy you in particular to the point where you might want to sell this bag. I don't know. Now this was something that I admittedly tried to sell not long after I bought it. Now I really don't think I gave this bag a chance because in my opinion Chanel vanity cases are just so timeless and I absolutely love the look of them just holding it like this and walking down like you know strutting your stuff down the street. I think especially in this red and gold combination it just is really adorable and I know for the upcoming I think it's the is it the spring summer 2022 Chanel collection they're gonna have a lot of heart shaped bags and box kind of vanities with top handles which I assume are gonna cost a fortune so I there was a part of me that was a little bit upset that I let this go given that I also think that the filigree vanity case is going to be harder to come by in the future. It's not something that Chanel does very often. Now, the thing that I find, I mean, quite annoying about this is the opening. So the way you have to open it is you have to zip it from all the way around. And I actually quite like the size of the medium. I used to have this bag in the smaller size, so I had a like the smaller size with the blue and the black trim, which I really liked that color combination. But that one, I didn't like how long the strap was, and I didn't like how it didn't really fit my phone. Now, given that, I do have the extra mini one, so like the SLG version, which I think is really cute. It kind of fits into a category of micro bag, and um, I don't know, I like the proportion of this one. But in terms of like the handbag, so the filigree vanity case, I prefer it in like either the medium or the large size, I think is also amazing because it has the mirror. But yeah, basically just the most annoying thing about this is just when you close it, you it kind of takes like, it's, it's not like an instant thing, you know, you have to kind of like maneuver it like this. And then sometimes in areas it gets a little stuck and you're like, ugh. So that's like the only thing that is annoying about it. But other than that, I think it's really cute. And well, another reason why I was trying to sell it is because I have a lot of pink and red bags. So I thought get, having this was a little overkill, but I mean, it is really cute. So yeah, it's mainly the zipper. If you're someone who gets really annoyed by the inconvenience of like fully opening a bag with a zip, like even something like this is something that you really kind of have to, like you have to like hold it and then like close it like this. It's not like, you know, like a speedy, you just zip it closed or like a, a Chanel flap, you just flap it down. Like you kind of have to put more effort into opening and closing it. And that's something I find quite annoying. Similarly, when I had my Kelly bag, that was another bag that was really annoying to just like open and close. I found that that was just, just it just annoyed me that I had to like take my time to like get into my bag. And I feel like with a lot of Hermes bags, they're designed in a way that people can't easily get into them to, I guess, prohibit people stealing stuff from you. But I just find that it's quite annoying to have a bag that is very hard to like I guess use. Similarly with the her bag I've had that twice and the opening and closing of that bag was also a nightmare. I think with the her bag it's better to just wear it literally just wide open and just carry it open like that I don't care look but for me that was just something that was not like that convenient. I actually don't mind the look of the her bag but it's it's not my favorite and I feel like with a lot of Hermes bags they make it hard for you to use the openings on the closings of them which is why I would probably prefer a Birkin because I would just wear it open which is kind of stupid because it the, I feel like the look of it is closed like you're supposed to wear a bag closed right but then why do they make it so hard so that's a reason why I've kind of been I guess veering more towards Chanel flaps lately because I find them really easy to use. 
um, as opposed to these like zipper openings, which are just a little bit too complicated for me. <laughs> I've also had the cans bag before, and that one was also, that was really annoying to use. For some reason, the shape of that, oh, and the most annoying was probably my vanity PM because not only did you have to like zip it all the way around, but it was a really soft structure. So it was really hard to like get it to like, get in the right position to like move the zip around. At least with these more structured vanity cases, it's kind of a bit, bit easier because the structure of it helps the zip like stick together in the right position. Whereas if it's a soft bag, it's actually hard to get the zip to fall in the right position to close it. This section always gets stuck. It's like a way you have to shut it. So it, ugh. Another thing I find a little annoying is that with my Vachetta leather bag, so particularly my Speedy 20 and my Cherry Speedy, I really love the look of the Vachetta contrasting with the monogram. I think it looks really nice, but I'm always worried I'm going to get like watermarks on the Vachetta, particularly like say if you go to the bathroom, like you always need to go to the bathroom, right? And then you wash your hands with soap and water, you dry them, but you still have that little like thought in your head that maybe your hands are still a little bit like moist or wet or you've got some drops. So I find like when I go to the bathroom, like I like wash my hands and I try and dry them as good as I can, but I still don't want to like grab my bag because I'm scared I'm going to get like moisture on it. So I find that like after I go to the bathroom, I always like, like grab my bag like this and I'm just like holding it like this. So I'm like not touching it. And I find that just really awkward. So that's something I found, find quite annoying about these Louis Vuitton bags. Why do they make the handles the most delicate part? Because that's the part that you like touch the most. It would be great if someone designed bags with handles that kind of don't, I don't know, for, like they have more resilient coating on them. Like I guess like the Damier Bean Speedy with that coated canvas, they always age really well and they always tend to look clean. Um, similarly with some of the Hermes bags, like the Birkins and Kellys with the leather, you know, people often put twillies on them because it's the same thing, like little bits of like dust or like skin will like build up on there and it gets like a bit yucky looking. And it just doesn't look as nice on a luxury bag that costs you so much money. So that's something I find annoying about this bag. And to be honest, I really like the color of the Vachetta but I wish it was like a sealed Vachetta. So my Alma from the Steven Sprouse collection, this is actually, it looks like Vachetta, but it's actually like a patent leather. And you know, this is like from, I think it's from like 2001. And I feel like this color is like what I want Vachetta to look like, but it's, yeah, it's a patent leather. So it's, it performs completely differently, but I almost think it would be cool if like Louis Vuitton did like a coated like light beige kind of leather so you don't have that like raw vachetta problem like with the getting it dirty and stuff. I don't know guys, do you think that's a smart idea? Like I don't I find kind of annoying with my cocoa handle is the handle. So if I'm wearing this bag and say I'm wearing it crossbody and then like it's on me and then I want to open it, I hate how like the the, the little handle like bends into my body because I'm scared that the handle is going to like snap off and like fall off. So when I open this bag, I literally have to like, like shift it away and then like open it like this. And then I feel like it's, it's like quite a constricting opening because it's so small. And then I'm just like, and particularly with this handle getting in the way, the opening of this bag is also kind of annoying, but I will say it is adorable. So I will deal with it. But compared to like, something say like this which is a completely different bag but the flap on this because it is like so easy like do you see how like easy that is and because it's a bigger bag I just feel like I'm not like struggling to open it like if I'm at the checkout and I want to get my card holder I'm just like right but then with this I'm just like like, I don't know, it's just more of a struggle, I feel like, with some of these bags. I know I'm being dramatic, guys, but these are the little things that will stop me from using a bag because sometimes my life is complicated and I just need something that will just get me through the day. And I just need to grab something that I can just, you know, chuck on and go. And 
Another thing that I find a little annoying is some of the mini and micro bags I have. So this bag I am yet to use and every day it's staring at me and I want to like just, just, you know, carry it and wear it. But it's because nothing fits in it that I really don't wear it. So it fits my card holder, my AirPods, and even like a lipstick. It even fits my phone without the case. But a lot of the time I need like more than that basically. Like I might want to carry a little bit more makeup or I want to might carry my sunglasses and this is just a bag that is probably only ideal for if I wanted to go out for dinner or if I literally just wanted to carry one card holder, which I could probably just put in my pocket. So it's more of a, just like a little collectible accessory. And I think the problem with micro bags is like things like this. If you're someone who carries more than just a card holder, they're quite redundant because you could fit in these bags the same amount that you could fit in your jeans pocket, literally. Like, I could put my card holder in my jeans pocket and I could just carry my phone and it's the same thing in my opinion. Or if you're someone who wears coats a lot and you have coats with big pockets, you could fit the same amount in your pockets as you could with these micro bags. So I feel like micro bags are literally pointless, but they just look so cute and they can add a little bit of something like adorable to your outfit. And they are fun to collect. So micro bags, I do honestly find it really pointless and annoying, but I do think they are adorable and I wouldn't sell them because I'm obsessed with them. With my mini pochettes, I don't wear them that often because they're like too small. Um, and I'm too worried to like chuck them in my bags as like makeup cases because I just really baby them because of the print on them. And I just find it silly to like put my makeup in here and then throw it in my bag. I would rather just use like something a little bit less expensive. Long shop, like, I don't know, it's like a nylon thing, which I just find a little bit more handy for makeup. Like I'd buy something a little bit more like practical, like this for makeup, I just think it's a little unnecessary. So these I would wear more as micro bags, but at the same time, they don't really fit much, probably the same amount as like these two. So every time I like do too much damage, like I buy like 10 Chanel bags, I always like think, oh, you know, I should probably sell something because I feel like a bit, a bit naughty. And the first, the first things that always come to my mind is sell my mini pochettes because you can always get money for them. And I've had so many mini pochettes and it's honestly because recently I bought a lot of Chanel bags. I'm thinking like, should I sell these? But these ones in particular, I'm just obsessed with like the animation and I just think they look like adorable, but they're just really pointless. So that's why I'm kind of torn because I've sold a, like all my mini pochettes in the past and now that I, and I had FOMO and I bought them back again and now I, I'm stuck in the same situation where they're just sitting on my shelf. So I don't know, but I, I just feel like hoarding them. I feel like I would regret it if I sold them, but they are kind of annoying because they just taunt me on my shelf and I just, I can't wear them. So there's that. Like maybe I just need to carry less stuff. Recently, I just feel like I need to carry more stuff. So that is why I find those annoying at the moment. And the last thing that I find annoying is that with my Felici pochette, now this is the Christmas animation one. Usually the Felici, it has more of like an envelope shape, but with this one, the edges like fold all the way down to the bottom. And I find because when I first got this, it wasn't really like that, but as time has gone by, I feel like the, the, the edges have like curled upwards without me even really wearing it. And I think it's because when I stand it up, it naturally like does this. And so I've been trying to lie it flat like that so it doesn't curl upwards because I feel like that looks a bit weird. Um, but it still continues to curl upwards and I just think it's because of the shape and the canvas. It's just naturally wanting to curve up. So occasionally I'll just like try and like like bend it back, but it doesn't really help. So that's something that I find a little annoying about this design for the Felici pochette. And I don't think that would be a problem if you had the, the envelope one, but for these new ones, like the Christmas animation ones, they kind of do this thing where the sides like stick out a little bit. And I, I don't really know what to do to stop that. So I feel like that's a bit annoying for something that is so expensive to like have like a strange characteristic like that. Um, and for the Felici pochette, I also wish it was like a magnet closure because I find like snap closure, it's just like a little, 
like it just feels a bit crappy and then sometimes like I can't close it properly because I have to get like the snap in the right position and I just feel like a magnet you don't really have to think about it you just like throw it down so for wallet on chains and that sort of thing I definitely prefer like a magnet or like a clasp as opposed to a clip that's something that I find a little irritating I would love to know bags that you love but also find annoying and I hope you enjoyed this video today please like and subscribe if you enjoy handbag videos and me blabbing on about crap and yeah I'll see you next time bye